good morning and welcome to your morning sequence. This sequence is all about invigorating and waking up your breath, your body, your spine, your arms. First thing when you wake up in the morning, this sequence is great for yoga beginners and it's something that you can do the moment you jump out of bed. It's a combination of pranayamas, which is breathing, along with some stretches to be able to open up those shoulders, the back, get the arms moving and just get you going for the day. Now the two oils of choice I chose for the day, the first one is Breathe Essential Oil. Now this one can help open up the lungs and it enables to make it so you can receive as you breathe in and to be able to release as you breathe out. The next one is Arise Essential Oil. Now this one's a blend specifically made for your yoga practice. It's a whole bunch of different oils, but the base of it is mostly in citrus. Citrus, Citruses are really gonna make you feel uplifted. They make you feel happy, joyful, which is a great way to start out your day. It also has Melissa in this blend, which is an oil that really helps you feel spiritually connected to yourself, your body, and your Hari power. Lastly, it has white fur in it. I love the smell of white fur. This oil gives us perspective and it allows us to be present in the moment that we're in right now. The way I like to apply it, I like to put a drop in my hand, cut my hands over my mouth and my nose, and take a deep breath in. I also like to put it over my chest, over my heart, so I'm able to smell it throughout my practice to be able to take my breathing and my meditations a little bit deeper. So let's get started. We're gonna go ahead and start our sequence off in mountain posture. You're gonna feel your stomach tucked in, shoulders down, head strong and firm, feet together. You're gonna reach up into the sky and bring your arms down into Namaskar. And right here, I want you to think about your morning and set an intention for your day today. What do you want to accomplish? What do you want to do? Set an aim or a plan and do it right here, whether that's a little prayer in your heart or just what you intend to accomplish this day. We're going to get started into our first pranayama. Interlace your fingers, pushing the palms down towards the ground and you're going to breathe in through your nose for eight counts. As you breathe in, let your gaze follow your hands all the way up to the top. When you reach the top, turn your hands around into prayer. And as you breathe out your mouth a big sigh, bring your hands down into prayer through, interlaced again for a second set. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, into prayer. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight and breathe in renew your breath let your gaze follow your hands all the way up to the sky and down into prayer with a deep sigh as you exhale all the way down and again big breath in through the nose and exhale through the mouth In, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Breathe out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Breathe out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now this time we're gonna go into the second breathing exercise. Bring your hands up to your chin, palms together. Again, make sure your stomach's in, your shoulders are down, your hips are activated. Interlace those fingers right underneath your chin. And as you count to eight, let your elbows float up to the sky as you take a breath in through the nose, and as you exhale out, you're gonna ha ah, with your breath. As your head falls back, your elbows come together, and then your head's gonna come back to neutral. And again, breathe in 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ah, three, four, five, six, back to neutral. Breathe in again. Keep your head straight as your elbows flow up to the sky. And then let your head fall back with your gaze. Ah. As you breathe out with a big ha ah, through your mouth and back to center. And again, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, breathe in. Let your elbows fly up to the ceiling. And as you breathe out, let your head fall to the back. As you let that breath come out of your mouth with such force, you hear that sound. And again, breathe in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And breathe out. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Back down to Tadasana, mountain posture. Again, realign your body. Get everything ready for our next Asana, which is going to be half moon posture. Raise your hands up over to your head, interlace your finger, point your index finger up into the air for Ardha Chandrasana. You're going to breathe in, decompress the spine, and reach over to the side. Now when you do this, you're automatically going to feel that the opposite hip pushes out just a little bit, but you want to keep your shoulders on that same plane. The palms of your hands are going to be tightly in towards each other, why the arms are firmly into your head and as you lift up you can go out with your out breath and back up to center now inhale you're going to reach up into the sky and on your exhale you're going to lean over to the other side and as you inhale you lengthen and as you exhale you can deepen that stretch inhale again and exhale deepen that stretch Come back up. Now you're gonna wheel your hands back into your lower back. And I'm gonna to turn to the side so you're able to see what we're doing because we're gonna go into half wheel posture, Ardha Chakrasana. Now with your hands supporting that lower back, we're gonna push our hips forward just a little bit so we're in the right alignment. And we're gonna breathe up and back over those hands. Now what we're trying to do in this posture is we're trying to keep our belly firm, our chest, our head looking up, reaching towards the back, Why we only raise the upper half of the back to get that stretch. Now slowly roll your back up and come back up. Now put your hands on your hips, shoulders straight, belly in, glutes activated, hands on your hips, bend your knees, and we're gonna do hands to big toe. As you bend your knees, what we're trying to do here is slowly lower our back as straight as possible, down to our thighs. We wanna keep our chest on our thighs. Slowly lower your hands down to the ground. And you're gonna let your head sink down. So there's no pressure on your head. Shake your head no, shake your head yes. Make sure that's loose as you try and maintain as straight a spine as you can. You're going to slowly roll your knees back up so they're straight. Now what we're trying to do is keep our chest to our thighs. We're going to take our two peace fingers. We're going to wrap them around the insides of the toe as you can feel the stretch going a little bit deeper. Now if you're feeling too much of a pull in your hamstrings, bend your knees. Decompress the spine. Lengthen as you try and reach further. You're going to take your hands back out. Go ahead and place them on your hips. Bend your knees back as straight as you slowly roll back up. And we're gonna start again on our second set to wake up our arms, back and spine. We're gonna breathe up into the air 
interlace your fingers, this time on the opposite grip of what you did last time, with your pointer finger up into the sky. You're gonna reach up with the breath in, and on the exhale, you're gonna slowly lean towards the side. Feel that lengthening through the side of your body as your palms are firmly together, that there's no space in between the palms. Breathe back up, breathe in, and over to the other side as you feel that spine lengthen and decompress you're able to go further always on the in breath lengthen and on the exhale you sink in further feel your body come up to straight this time we're going to keep our hands up in the air for the backwards half wheel you're gonna send your hips forward, and this time we're just gonna take our head and we're gonna look behind us and feel that bend, again, just in the upper back. Now, if this is too much stress, you can put your arms back to where we did last time on the smalls of the back. If you're ready for something a little bit more, take your arms to the sides of your ears and feel that stretch in your back. Come up straight. Hands come down to your side and back up to your hips. Now feel your knees bend, your back is going to stay straight as you slowly lower your upper body down to your thighs. You're going to try and get your thighs on your legs. You're going to relax your neck again, shake your head no, shake your head yes. Make sure that neck is relaxed and straighten up your knees as much as you can, trying to keep your chest to your legs. Now this time you're gonna take your hands and you're gonna put them behind and underneath your heels. You're actually gonna step on them. All 10 fingers with your pinkies touching. The weight is in your toes. And again, you're gonna feel that stretch as you try and straighten your legs. your grip to in front of you. Bend your knees, put your hands on your hips, and slowly rise back up. Back down to Tadasana. Namaste.